How do you balance experimentation and commitment in the projects that you pursue? Balancing experimentation and commitment is a balance within itself. It's, um, I by no means am perfect at it at this point. I think though that whether it is, for instance, we're retweaking the grace list offering at the moment and I've kind of had to roll with the punches. If you're going to be a successful entrepreneur, you have to be partly really stubborn and steadfast. Like when you think something's going to fail, you kind of, again, have to be partly delusional and partly brilliant and just partly stupidly, like blindly stubborn to just stick things out. But then there's also moments when you, you know, have to realize you have to wave a white flag and call a spade a spade and, and realize that something's not working. And that's really part of, I think, experimentation, really being open to um, what's working and not working in the business and experimenting maybe with new things that could be beneficial, whether it's new employees or, um, you know, something that a lot of entrepreneurs, including myself, struggle with, you know, trusting someone and allocating them, like letting go of some of the responsibilities. Um, and having a business is an experiment. Like it's a work in progress. I wish, you know, it's not for people who it's, you know, thrive off of stability. It's, it's not, I mean, ultimately you strive for that, but the journey along the way is, is never that. It, there's, it's full of, there's plenty of glorious potholes, bumps, meteorites, like everything you can imagine. And the, a cow thrown in there through a tornado, whatever crazy, uh, uh, images that your head conjures up like that that is the story of uh the journey to being an entrepreneur but it's always laughable and like you know what can you do but laugh it's kind of hilarious there's, like there's there's never a dull moment however you know it's really important not to have ego it's important to you know know when to stay strong and when to you know to stand your ground and you know, when to own something, even when you kind of have to fake it before you make it, like those moments. Right. And also when there's moments that you have to let something go, you know, where you just have to let it go. And it sounds simple, but just let it go because we hold on to so much, you know, with our businesses. We thought that, you know, the business was going to go this way and this was our goal or we were really, you know, gung-ho on the name of this new product. But guess what? Consumers aren't being perceptive to it. So maybe we have to you know, reevaluate it. So it's, it's, you know, making things less personal and a lot of that just have, you know, experimenting as part of that process. But, um, but it's really what ultimately I believe really, um, leads to success. Something just sticks. You know what I mean? When you're trying out a bunch of different options with your company, if you didn't experiment, you would never know that.